No! No! I just woke up and found out I lost a tooth. That's nothing unusual. Huh? But I can't find it. What if I swallowed it? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll tell you the journey of a tooth if you swallow it. Let knowledge click. When you swallow a tooth, it won't fly around in your tummy or poke into your heart or lungs. Our body has a special path for food. The tooth will follow this path just like the food you eat. Then it will go down to the stomach. In the stomach, there is a special juice called digestive fluid. It helps break down food. But this juice cannot dissolve teeth. That's because teeth have a special outer layer called enamel. It's even harder than bone. So, will the tooth get stuck in my tummy forever? No, <laughs> not at all. Our body is a wonderful system. Even though it can't digest a tooth, the intestines wow. can still push it out like other waste. In the end, the tooth will say goodbye to your body when you go to the toilet. Most of the time, swallowing a tooth is fine. But sometimes, these things can happen. You may feel like choking, coughing, or having trouble breathing. That's because the tooth may be stuck in your throat. You feel unusual pain inside because the sharp edge of the tooth might have scratched your stomach or intestines. If you cannot go to the toilet for many days, the tooth may be blocking the way out. Your tummy will feel very uncomfortable. Remember, your body always gives signals oh. when something is wrong. Mm. So tell an adult ah. right away. Yes, I remember. Swallowing a tooth is not scary. But if something feels wrong, I must tell an adult. That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. You shouldn't oh. drink that much mm -hmm. water all mm. at once, would you? Did you know why we shouldn't do that? Let knowledge click! Water is a very important part of our bodies. Water makes up about 60 to 65% of a child's body. Water helps cool down our body and lower the temperature oh, when we please. get too hot. Oh. Water also delivers nutrients to our organs and helps the body work properly. Water helps our joints more easily, like oil helps the machine run smoothly. When we drink water, it goes into the stomach and then go down to the small intestine. From there, water gets absorbed into the blood vessels and then goes straight to the kidneys. The kidneys work like the body's filter, removing extra waste. When there's too much water, they had to work much harder to keep up. That's going to make you need to pee a lot. No! Oh no! If your kidneys get overwhelmed, your body will try to get rid of the extra water in other ways. 
which can make you feel nauseous. We shouldn't drink too much water at once. It's better to sip it throughout the day. Each person should drink about five to eight glasses of water a day. Which is around 1.5 to 2 liters. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> so bitter. Oh. No. Lucy, stop, stop! Looks like Lucy just had some coffee. Don't you know what happens if kids drink too much coffee? Let knowledge click! Coffee contains a substance called caffeine. It can make us feel more awake and alert. When caffeine enters the body, it blocks the sleepiness chemical in the brain, making the brain more active, like flipping on a bright light switch in your head. Wow! So that's why my dad often drinks coffee in the morning when he works. But drinking too much coffee isn't good for your body, especially for kids. Coffee gives your brain a boost that isn't natural. At first, it makes you feel really full of energy. But caffeine keeps the brain tense, which can make you feel tired and harder to concentrate. It can also make your heart beat faster leaving you feeling uneasy and restless. Mm. <sighs> Puffin can also cause stomach aches, shaky hands and legs, or even make you very dehydrated. Besides coffee, Kids under 12 should avoid drink with caffeine like energy drinks and tea too. What are we going to do with her now, Professor? First, give her plenty of water to flush out caffeine faster and reduces its effects on the brain and heart. We can also give her a light snack, especially foods rich in fiber or protein to help slow down the absorption of caffeine in the body. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh, seems like Wufu is having a nightmare. Did you know why we get nightmares? Let knowledge click! A sleep cycle has three main stages. The first is lie sleep, when you resting but can wake up easily. The next stage is deep sleep. Last is REM, rapid eye movement. Sleep when your brain makes dreams. Nightmares are scary or upsetting dreams created by our brain when we sleep. When we sleep, our brain keeps working. It shorts and organizes the memories from the day, like cleaning up a bunch of toys. This is when the brain is most active, which can trigger dreams or worse, nightmares. Oh no! Uh. <gasps> Nightmare happens for so many reasons. Stress from work. Relationships. Or anything that scare you during the day 
can also lead to nightmares. Oh. Eating late at night can make your brain more active mm. while you sleep, which might cause strong mm. or even scary dreams. Nightmares are completely natural if you can avoid them by doing a few simple things. Uh. Don't no. watch scary movies. Hmm. Avoid eating too much after 8 p.m. Go to bed with your favorite toy or near someone you love. <laughs> It helps your brain feel calm oh. and safe. Oh. Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel. <laughs> <laughs>